This week kicks off World Marriage Day celebration. It's actually a whole week from February 7th, ending on Valentine's Day, February 14th. And think about Valentine's. So we all think about the sentiment, maybe, of love on Valentine's Day. But we really want to celebrate the gift of married love, the gift of faithfulness. Nothing more beautiful than the faithful love of a husband and wife, not because it's been easy, but because in the struggles, in the joys, in the good moments, and in the difficult moments, somehow by God's grace and your goodness, you choose to stay faithful to each other, knowing, mindful, that God is also faithful to you. I say this at every wedding I do, that, that actually on a wedding day, God makes a great promise as well, to walk faithfully with a couple in all the moments, good, bad, up, down, young and old alike. How can we use this World Marriage Day week to actually reflect mightily on the faithful love of God in your life? How can you pull out the wedding albums, if you will, remember the joy, remember the excitement, the nervousness, even the, the unknowing that you now know what it takes to be married, and really use that moment as you page through the pictures to reflect deeply on what brought you as a couple together, the promises you made, and the promise that God made to you. I'm standing in St. Ambrose Church in front of the image of St. Joseph, the St. Joseph Relief, and it's actually a recipe for strong marriages and strong families. That strong families, strong marriages, are ones who literally follow the light of Christ and walk in the ways of Jesus. Strong couples and strong families are ones that gather at the table together and share a meal. And strong families and especially strong marriages are ones that every day they're centered, trusting in the Lord, that God will be your help, that God will provide for all that you need. It was God's promise on the day of your wedding and it is the faithful love of God that can sustain you. In this World Marriage Day week, let's celebrate the gift of married love. Let's reflect deeply and even become a little nostalgic to remind you of what brought you together, and especially to remember the promises of the Lord, that God is faithful in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, forever.